It takes a second. This meeting is being live streamed. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, my air conditioning guy. We are live. Live, live, live. I think, yes. Okay. Well, good morning. Hi, Pamela. This is the first Hi. time I'm actually meeting you, even though we live in the same town. Correct. But How you're in Cabo, you? no? Yeah, I'm in Cabo. How, yeah. And you were in San Jose or what? Yes. Yeah, I'm in San Jose. That's amazing. And how long yeah. have you been? How long have you been there? 33 years. Wow. Okay, you beat me. Yeah. I'm just going on 16. Yeah. Oh, I, I came at a very young age. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so fun fact, I actually came here in 1989 with my first husband. Uh -huh. um, his family had a place up behind me, Casa. Back then, it used, that used to be called Ventanas. Up uh -huh. Cabo, those condos with like the million stairs. Yeah. So yeah, I started coming in 89, but uh, just didn't make the move until yeah. my now forever husband and I decided 16 years ago. So cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much for making time with me this morning. This is uh, obviously super casual. It's in the Women in Business Networking community. And the thing I think about this is I ask you personal questions because my true belief is that A, we buy from people that we like. We mm -hmm. want to buy from people that we like. Um, right. And that women in business is as much as it's growing there's still not enough of us so if we can just love on each other and support each other and know each other um interesting this morning somebody in new york who's in who owns a caregiving business for seniors which i like i want to invite her to the group because so many of us have aging parents and don't know what to do and how to you know blah blah and then you and i being in a mexican culture we're surrounded by a culture that you care for your parents. You do not ship them off somewhere. You don't do, you know, so I really wanted her just to be part of this community, but she thought it was all about business. And girls, I'm a life coach for women in business because if we don't have everything going, you know, if we don't have all the cylinders of the car, our health, which you mm -hmm. and I have talked about, our health and well being and our relationships and our business and our time freedom, if, if they're way out of whack, our business will not thrive. So that's kind of what this, this, the premise of this is more about the person and then about, do we want to do business with you? Which I'm, okay. I know we do because we're interviewing you. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's, let's get some questions here. By the way, I still have hot flashes periodically. So if I pull oh. my hair, hair up and down, that's what I'm doing. Okay. okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are you from originally, Miss Pamela's story? I was born in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Okay. There you go. So, yes. um, and when did you leave? Cult. Ooh, well, I can't remember the year. What would it have been? 1990, maybe? 33 years ago. Go. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Amazing. Yeah. It was just too Amazing. cold. I felt like I reached my goal of where I wanted to be. Um, and I needed a new goal. And because I was sick and tired of being cold. Yeah. I just decided I wanted to be somewhere where it was going to be warm every day of the week. I didn't know where that was. And somebody said, go to Cabo. It's where all the movie stars are going. And of course I said, okay. And here I am. Beautiful. Still here. You made yeah. a decision. You made a decision. Yeah. My, my clients know this about me. One of my favorite words in the world, decide. Oh, I love it. I love the word decide. Okay, here we go. Introvert or extrovert? Uh, I would say I'm both because I do like my alone time, but when I'm out there, I thoroughly enjoy it. I like to make the most of it. Yeah. 100%. So, I guess I'm both. Okay. Early bird, night owl. Again, I'm both. It depends what's going on, what I'm doing. Um, do you prefer? Do you prefer to stay up late or do you prefer to get up early? Pick one. Um, 
I guess I would say I would prefer to stay up later than getting, but I mean, early, I mean, I'm still up at seven. So is that early? Yeah, that's an early bird. Okay. Yeah. Well, eight o'clock for me yeah. is sleeping in. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Tell me uh, some of your favorite mental wellness resources, like books or podcasts, people. What do you tune into? Um, I generally uh, read, not necessarily books. I would read online as to how to make essential oils, how to train your dog not to bark all night long. Uh, learning, learning. I don't sit and read romance novels. I don't have time for that. Um, right. So right. I always will pick up a quick read, uh, listen to people, um, you know, yes. online. I, online. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, um, and the people that you like to listen to, I think we would talk about this, like, for instance, the Matthew McConaughey. Uh, I uh -huh. love, I love that book by the way, green lights. I, I haven't read it. Oh, I listened to it when I was hiking. That's how I, oh. that's what I do. I audible and listen yeah. when I'm exercising, right. Just to kind of, uh, tune out, uh, it's right. just good in it pours in anyway. He's adorable. Um, super yummy. Yeah. Super yummy. Uh, obviously your, uh, Eckhart Tolle and your, yeah. A yeah I love Abraham so Hicks. People. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, Wayne cool. Dyer, Oprah, I love Oprah. And then there's, and now on Instagram, there's so many life coaches doing reels. I can't remember all their names, but I do save, I have a lot of things saved. Again, reminding yourself, we, we knew it, we know it, but we need to reiterate it back into our being because we right. keep forgetting you it because there's a lot to remember. Yeah, you and I just talked about that we were just talking before we went live about um you know you don't if the day you know it all you're dead and i mean that in the sense of yeah. spiritual growth or emotional growth or whatever um you know in my book i i write something about <laughs> knowing it all you know i know that but when we get stuck in the i know that trap check yourselves which yeah. you're not, you're describing to me is like, no, 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 we can always learn. And I've been teaching courses for, oh, I started teaching groups, courses in this kind of work, you know, the, the life strategies and the spiritual alignments and things like that uh, back in 2012. So 11 years, I've been doing group coaching. And it's funny because I have people come back into the group and they're like, oh, oh my God, I don't remember this part. Oh my, oh my, I don't remember this part. It's like, well, the content, the curriculum hasn't changed you've changed right so it's gonna land on you differently so that's kind of like if someone goes to see a movie right and they go yeah oh my god did you see that it was there the first time you saw the movie it's just impossible to take in 100 percent all the time right yeah so yeah. super cool super cool um what's your love language and here's the thing here's what you get to choose from you get to cho choose from words of affirmation physical touch gifts acts of service or quality time which one of those speak to you the most uh speaking to people help uh, helping people be the best they can be uplifting people cheerleading people on motivating people you know yeah. i've done hair for 30 years i've had a hair salon and with that came my therapy license because I hear, I hear everybody's deep down secrets that their husbands or wives don't even know. And, right. you know, I just had, I was, I guess it was born in with me along with my hairstyling degree. You know, it was just yeah. there. It was a gift to me. And I just naturally, I just seemed to be able to resolve their problems or give them more options than what they were thinking of what they could do and with their problems. So it would Perfect. be just speaking. Yeah. And then acts of service, you know, giving back. I love to, yeah. um, you know, help people just, we're all in this Perfect. together. And the more kinder you are, the more you do, the more we're, we're together, we're working together at this together, then just makes it a happier, nicer world. I think. I agree. I agree. You know? I a hundred percent agree. You know, ah. 
so. um, beautiful. So um, tell me a little bit about your business. So I know that you have your hair. I know that you do, do some real estate, but I really want to hear about the one that's just firing you up right now, which I believe you said is isogenics. Is that right? Correct. Tell it's, me about uh, tell me about that. Tell us about that. Okay. It's network marketing, which which mm -hmm. I love because during COVID I wasn't working at all. And I really wanted to, you know, a lot of people are working from home. I'm like, well, what are they doing? What are they doing from home? I want to get one of those. Yeah. And I never, I of course, found it. Yeah, I never found anything. And then I was given the opportunity to do so. And then when I tried the products, I love the products. They have health, wellness, and beauty products a big array of products for whatever it is that you are looking for to better your life, enhance your life. Most people I know want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So they have Hi. at our age, metabolism is not working like it used to. And we have intermittent fasting with shakes and then you eat your dinner, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually oh, use. Oh, oh, my girlfriend did isogenics last year. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm putting it together. Okay. Yeah. Keep going which I actually use because I don't actually have time to eat three meals a day. I never have just with my business and my children. I have three children. So um, I have a shake and that actually keeps me alive <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because it has the vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids, the proteins in it. So when I do go to the gym and work out, I can again still see my muscles are still there. I'm not just slowly withering away. And um, they're beauty products. I love our amazing. I'm a product girl being in the hair business. You know, you have to try, you know, all the hair products and a lot of the beauty products. And this is one product that of their beauty products, their face cream, Celatoire, that I used. I love it. I will it always be using skin? it. I've, I've developed yes. in menopause super sensitive skin. Even to the lights and the computer i've got screens i've got sunblock i've got everything and it's still if i'm on this like for six hours a day which i never am except for that matthew mcconaughey thing yeah i can't isn't that great to get excuse for me to only work four hours a day but <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful it's plant-based it's from korea the um it's a firming cream it's very hydrating and moisturizing and plumping and you notice it right away most creams say they're going to do all this stuff you use it for a week or so and then you throw it in the basket with all the rest of them cool and it's plant-based i love that plant-based yeah i don't want and to chemicals okay cool. they have Keep an going. amazing aquamarine collagen that i personally am using as well which i absolutely love because Okay. It not only is it great for your skin, your hair, your nails, I have found that I don't have body pain with it. You know, when you get out of bed and mm. you, you have mm. aches and pains and you're making noises, you know, inflammation and cricks and yeah. Yes. Yes. So it has natural human call it, not call it human collagen in it, but it mimics it with the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. marine collagen. And cool. so honestly, truly, I love the products. You market the products. You tell people about yeah. the products. Was it Matthew McConaughey yeah. that said that sales is a service? It's an opportunity to give someone a product to better their life. It is a yeah. disservice not to give them this opportunity. Thank you. It wasn't Matthew. It was, uh, it was the other, the other guy. guy, but yeah. So, so uh, a lot of the women in the group know this about me because they've already been my clients or they're my friends and business, things like that. But I've been a sales trainer and coach and VP of sales and business in my career, my corporate career, my entire life. And so I believe that if you are selling something that is being of service it is completely a ripoff for you not to lean into that if you can help people you know and exactly and almost 
all of us are actually in sales. So this is what I believe. Almost all of us are in sales. A dentist in sales. Guess what? You know what? I need to sell you on the fact that you have a cavity. <laughs> yeah. It's in your best interest to fill that cavity. You know, I need to, they're, everybody's in sales. So the sooner that we get in touch with how is what I'm doing benefiting people? Then you can lean into it stronger. So yes, mm -hmm. sales is mm -hmm. to be, it, in, in my heart of heart, sales is to be of service. So yes. good, good for you. Yes. And that's why I want you to talk about your business. And ladies, anybody else is getting interviewed by me over the next several Wednesdays. This is what this is about. It's about what do we have to share with each other with integrity, right? with integrity. So. Yes. And it's meeting new people. When you're networking, you're looking for other people to share this with. I mean, I have people in my surroundings, in my group, my friends, in my real estate friends, but um, just meeting people from all over wor the world. And this is, an, is a, a 23 countries, this product, and they've been around for 21 okay. years. So that says a so, lot right there. Well, Oops. I have you on pause. I'm back now. It's it's my inner my internet in my neighborhood has been really crummy uh, the last two days. But go ahead. Yeah. So the other thing that I love about this is that I get to work. I can talk uh, when I'm doing my beach walk on my phone. I can speak to people. I can lay by the pool. I can be in my house, wherever my phone is. I'm doing work. I didn't feel that great right. last week, but I'm still working. I'm not having to cancel all my hair appointments because I can't show up for work. But with this, I could still work. It's just speaking to people, Amazing. spreading, spreading the word. And I've promoted a lot of products, but I never got paid for promoting you know, all these hair products. Right, right. You but were just this, sharing. You were just sharing yes. something great. But the great thing is, is that now I'm getting paid just for promoting these products. It's just, it's a no brainer. Yummy. Yeah, it's yummy. Yeah. For it is sure when yummy. we uh, end today. Well, when I, when, when this gets all uploaded and posted and everything, you'll, do you have a link where people can contact you for the products? Because Obviously, this is an international group that we're we're in here, right? Uh -huh. You and I have something in common, and and I hope that a lot of the women in the group recognize this. I moved to Cabo because I wanted out of the corporate grind. I, I wanted out. I wanted to raise my children. I wanted to work less hours. I really designed my life. Um, I, I wrote a book on designing my life. It's an international bestseller on life design, right? Wow. So thanks. I know fun. Hey, um, so I even joined some networks in the States and I thought, well, I'll fly up. It's not my jam. I, I, I personally am an introvert. I know that people don't think that or know that about me. Um, I love people, but people tend to drain me. I need to go back in and recharge and come back out. So I do go to events and I will go do speaking engagements and stuff, but they're, they're rare. I don't leave for work or networking more than four times a year. <laughs> and I look at all my professional girlfriends and they're at networking events every week. And I'm like going, oh, there's no way I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm creating this very special, very special women's group and community is so that we can love on each other. We can get life support because we're, the, we're solopreneurs. You, I mean, you're in a network environment, so you have an upline and all, a downline and things like that, but you're a leader. You're also a solopreneur in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And so, and so for us to be able to kind of shoulder, so, shoulder with each other and not have employees in our you know group yes where we can where we can say ladies i need help i'm having like serious menopause you know problems who's got products or i'm you know experiencing this with employee who's got ideas that's what this whole network is about um mm -hmm. not getting sold stuff all the time i'm super strict about people right. pitching all the time it's like i don't want to i'm leaving other 
online networks because all they're doing is pitching all the time. It's like, I'm not getting any value out of this. Right, right. So um, there's my speech about how I hope we lean in here and support and love on each other because what you put out, you get back. Absolutely. Yeah, I know yeah. you know that. That's, Lots that's, of love. Yeah. yeah. Lots of love. So we're going to make sure and put uh, all your contact stuff in this chat once it's okay. all up and happy. Tell okay. me about some of your favorite values in business and in life. What's important to you? When you think about building your business, right? Mm -hmm. What's important to you? Uh, what's important to me is people um, listening, people being open, um, open-minded, honest. Mm -hmm. Probably first honest with themselves. Yep. And um, wanting a change, wanting to do, everybody wants the change, but then to get them there, it's like, you know, it's a tug of war. So you, they so you have to be, the yeah, they have to be able to want to do the change. Fear, you're either living in fear or you're living in love. And if, if it's a tug of war for you and you need to control that little part of you, then eh, you need to move down the other end of the stick and go more to the side of love, loving yourself, to wanting to change yeah. yourself, to be a better self, to be happier, to be freer. Now I'm starting to sound like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> well, it's, it's good message. Uh, you know, a good message is a good message. I, I, I preach this mm -hmm. uh, a good message is a good message, regardless of the source. So today you're the source. That's awesome. Sometimes the source might be the Quran. I don't, I don't read the Quran, but I know that there's a message in the Quran. That's also in the Bible. That's also in my book, but I'm not a God, right? Yeah. So it's just a good a message is a good message. Yes. Something that you pointed out there is that the core of everything and it's not really debatable i mean you can have an opinion about it but the fact is the core of everything is love yes you brought that up it is yeah. it's love um yeah. and and you you have a choice fear of faith you can't you you can't have both you pick one it, right it, every second you have to pick one yeah picking faith is picking love yes picking fear is afraid of a loss of love or a loss of, you know, admiration or imposter syndrome or whatever that bullshit is that people live in fear. Right. So it's lean, leaning in and saying, I'm going to take one small step afraid into faith and know that what's meant for me won't miss me. My kid, right. my kid yesterday has been, you know, I, my youngest one, uh, you, everybody's going to hear this from me first time and it hasn't been announced yet, but, uh, didn't get into their number one choice university and they've been working really hard. I mean, really hard for the last couple of years. They've got a 3.8 grade point average. They're completely bilingual. They have an international baccalaureate diploma. They've done hundreds of hours of community service. I mean, they really should have had the choice of whatever they wanted and they didn't get into their number one and they cried. I mean, Naomi was bawling because they've had this vision. They've traveled to the university. They, you know, they thought for sure I've been working. They're teenagers. This is a lot. Yeah. And I looked her right in the eyes and it seemed to calm her. And she told me later that was the truth is my love. What's meant for you won't miss you. Exactly. You stay, stay, in your focus and you have to trust that the university that you're going to maybe your future business partner is at that university maybe your future life partner is at that university so you're being responded to you're being guided by your efforts and what's meant for you won't miss you mm -hmm. exactly your your nose are are because something better is coming and you probably Amen. won't see it for a year or two or three, but you will realize it and say, oh my God, I, can you imagine? I wouldn't have met that person or gotten to where I am if I went to that other university. Yay. 
It's amazing yeah. how this stuff works out. And I didn't control any of it. Yeah. See, yeah. you and I, you and I are mature women, and most of the women in the group are mature women. So we've got a ton of experience in this. But I yeah. share it with you, and I love what Trent said in the seminar on Monday is your rejection is your protection. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? There's something better for you. I know you don't see it, but hindsight is 2020. That's why they say it. Yeah. So, um, and, and I'm glad that we went down this road because I think so many of the women in the group need to be reminded of that, right? Yeah. You're being yeah. redirected. It's okay. Yeah. If you keep pushing against the wall, pushing against the wall, pushing against the wall, it doesn't mean quit. It means you're being redirected. Take the sign. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Super. Well, is there anything else that you would love to share? Uh, like a fun fact or like a vision? I mean, um, I, a fun fact. Tell us a fun fact. Hmm. Let me see. A fun fact. Say yes. Tell me more. I am a yes girl. I have people presenting opportunities to me and I, they don't even get what it may be out of their mouths. And I just go, yes. And then I experience it. And it's, it was a wonderful experience. Sometimes it lasts, you know, nothing lasts forever. You know, it'll last for a while. Did I learn? Yes. Did I make money? Yes. Did I have fun? Yes. Was it something that I, would have done in my lifetime me thought I could do no the more you do the more you believe in yourself the more you, you know you can do the more you say yes the more things come to you and the more you do it it just keeps going and going and going and then you just you build your confidence that way and you are growing you're learning just say yes stop saying no it was Perfect. that a fun fact <laughs> no, 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 it was what it was is that was interesting and it was a uh, advice and I like it. Um, one of my bestest friends in the world was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, uh -huh. A tough one, a tough one. Doesn't mean it's impossible, a tough one. And you know what their motto is moving forward? We're saying yes. We're saying yes to everything. You want to go on a trip? Yes. You want to go to a Mariners game? Yes. You want to we're saying yes to everything. So why does it take some terrible diagnosis for you to start saying yes to yourself? So yeah. thank you for bringing that up. Last question. Is there anything um, that I can do? Is there anything that, that I can do to support you or, you know, the group can do to support you to have you have an even better life and business? Um, I'm sure there is. What will that be? I don't know. I think that's for me to find out. Just meeting you is a gift. And thank oh, you very thank much you. for showing up in my life. And I'm sure I will get huge benefits from being in this group and, and just chatting. Just friendships even is the most wonderful thing to have. Like-minded women. We are badasses. Yes. Like, yeah. like minded women. Like-minded. That's it. It's yeah. like what a conscious, a collective conscious, so powerful, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one of the ways I would like to give you some support too is I want to remind you that when this post, I would love you to go back in the comments and put in how people can contact you for your products. Okay. Or isogenics or learn more. Um, I'm super intrigued, so I okay. wanted to do it for me, if not for everybody else, but do it for me. Uh, okay. You spoke to me in a lot of things with the stubborn weight, and I have plenty of time because I'm a master at calendarizing my life, and so mm -hmm. I have plenty of time, but I am already an intermittent faster, so I'd love to break a fast with something like that you know? Okay. Um, yeah. And again, having my super sensitive skin that just mm -hmm. 56, 56 years old, all of a sudden my skin just goes, you're sensitive. Anyway. So I'm always <laughs> looking for a super great product. Okay. You'll love I'm this. Yeah. I'm telling you girls in your thirties and forties, take care of your adrenals, take care of your hormones, take care of everything, take care of your biggest organ, your skin. Cause yeah work out.
yeah. it's harder. Yeah. yeah. All right. So great to meet you. Thank you so much Likewise. for spending time with me. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Yay. Cool. Okay. So I'll see you um, on the web and in the group and be active. And thanks again. Okay. Thank you, darling. Bye, honey. Bye.